Can you iron my clothes? Yes, sure. Be careful, it's hot. Last time, I burnt my finger. I know that, dear. We come across such incidences many times in our day-to-day -day life. Our response to these incidences depends upon recognition of these incidents or events. And hence, we respond by correct coordination by controlled way. Our nerves and specialized organs help us to coordinate these movements. Welcome to the lesson on Nervous System. At the end of the lesson, we will be able to Describe parts of a nerve cell Explain the reflex arc Explain the structure of brain How does the brain detect that I am going to touch a hot object? All information from our surrounding is detected by the nerve cells. The information is acquired at the tip of the neuron, called dendrite, which sets off a chemical reaction that creates an electric impulse. This impulse travels from the dendrite to the cell body, and then along the axon to its end. At the end of the axon, this electric impulse releases some chemicals. These chemicals cross the gap or synapse and start a similar electrical impulse in a dendrite of the next neuron. Will you touch anything that's hot? No, I will not. Now I understand that the receptors at the end of the nerves will detect heat and the brain will send signal not to touch the hot vessel. In other words, we have reflex arc. Reflex arc is a connection that detects the signal or the input and responds by an output action. Nerves from all over the body meet in a bundle in the spinal cord on their way to the brain. Reflex arcs are formed in this spinal cord itself. Sensory neuron and brain are the parts of reflex arc. Sensory neuron carries the message to the spinal cord where motor neuron responds to the situation and simultaneously message is carried to the brain also. That means spinal cord is more important than the brain. No, that's not true. Brain has lots of complex mechanism and neural connections involved. It is the main coordinating center of the body. In fact, the peripheral nervous system is made up of brain and spinal cord. The brain has cranial nerves, while the spinal cord has spinal nerves. Communication between the central nervous system and other parts of the body is done by peripheral nervous system. The brain can be divided into three parts, forebrain, midbrain and hindbrain. Forebrain is the thinking part of the brain. It is a storehouse of information. Separate areas of the forebrain are specialized for hearing, smell, sight, etc. It receives sensory impulses. Involuntary actions are controlled by the midbrain and hindbrain. Involuntary actions including blood pressure, salivation and vomiting are controlled by the medulla in the hindbrain. Cerebellum located in the hindbrain helps to maintain the posture and balance of the body. It also causes precision of voluntary actions. The brain is protected by skull and spinal cord by vertebral column as they are very important for us. At the end of the lesson, you are able to describe parts of a nerve cell, explain the reflex arc, explain the structure of brain.